In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this see-through glass effect both on light and dark theme. And if you want to use the assets that I'm using, you can go to this Instagram post and comment project file and I'm going to send you the file directly to your DM. Okay, let's get started. Alright, here I am in After Effects. I'm going to drag in the dark theme first and I'm going to show you the light theme later on. So we're going to do some basic position and opacity animation. Hit P, Shift and T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity. And we'll just scrub through the timeline and follow the hand gesture right about here. I'm going to set a position in opacity keyframe. And if I go back and at the start of this, I'm going to move this from here and I'm going to set the opacity to zero. So select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, go to the graph and we're going to tweak the graph something like this. Okay, that's great. So let's move ahead and right about here, I'm going to set a blank keyframe for both the position and opacity here and I'm going to move forward and move these to somewhere here and set the opacity back to zero. So go to the graph and let's check the graph. I think we're gonna tweak it like this. Okay. So what I would suggest you do is to work on the animation of the design first and later on you can work on the look of the design because we're gonna make uh, duplicate copies of this layer so you don't have to you know mess with the animation keyframes again and again so make sure you work on the animation first and later on you can easily work with the look of this design so with that said in mind let's drag inside the light version here and if we scrub through the timeline and go to the last keyframe which is here make sure you set this time indicator at the last keyframe and parent this to the darker one. If you scrub back, you can see it's already made. You don't have to mess with the animation. We just have to play a little bit with the opacity animation. So let's do it right away. Hit T on the keyboard, set a keyframe here and go here and set it back to zero. Select all the keyframes. Right click keyframe assistant easy ease and we're gonna go to the graph and make the graph like this Okay, that's very nice and we're gonna make this a 3d layer and Let's move forward and right about here. We're gonna animate the position and rotation hit P on the keyboard Shift and R on the keyboard. We're gonna set a position keyframe and a Y rotation keyframe so go a few frames and we're going to move the position you know towards the camera with a y rotation so i'm going to set this to one full rotation and select all the keyframes as always easy ease go to the graph and we're going to make the graph something like this and if you play it back now okay that's very fast let's make it slower all right that's nice okay so let's turn on the motion blur for all the layers if you don't find this motion blur switch you can hit these toggle switches with four different modes here and you can find a motion blur here all right let's let's turn off the light version as of now and let's work on the look of this darker one which is very very easy so we're gonna duplicate this layer Control d to duplicate and we're gonna make the bottom layer an adjustment layer and you can go and change the blending mode of this layer to screen and you have that okay and so we're gonna add a few effect on this layer we're gonna go to the effects and presets and search in fast or CC radial fast blur we're gonna drop this and we're gonna set this to brightest and all right let's keep that for now and i have a pre-com which is a glass texture which is this we're gonna import this if i open this i have a texture so this is a glass texture which i pre-compose nothing fancy 
I also added a levels to add some you know contrast in this so that's the setup of this pre comp let's close this let's go to the tutorial comp and this is the glass texture it's a pre comp let me just turn it off we don't need that and let's select this adjustment layer and go to the effects and presets and type in compound blur compound blur drag and drop it on this layer and we're going to select the glass texture layer which we just imported and right after that you can see the textures are popping out you can crank up the values of maximum blur you can see that some textures glass textures are here that's very very cool and what i also did was i added another effect which is magnify drag and drop it here change the shape from circle to square and i am going to you know scale it up so that it covers the entire entire adjustment layer and i'm gonna magnify slight and maybe i'm gonna decrease the maximum and i'm going to decrease the amount of this blurness to maybe 30 and maybe increase this compound blur a little bit if i zoom it out you can see that that's very very cool so that's very simple for this and let me just go and do the same for this so so let's first change the color of the layer so that we can differentiate which one is which let's change this to yellow and let's let this be this color and i'm going to duplicate this like we did earlier Control d to duplicate and i'm going to change this to an adjustment layer and if i change this to screen it doesn't work anymore so what i will be doing is i'm going to add an effect which is invert add this we're gonna change the channel to lightness and if you change this to screen we have the same look but the problem here is that if you pay a closer attention to this you can see the logo has been changed so something is not right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna delete this invert effect and we're gonna draw a mask so turn off this layer select this layer and draw a mask all right that's a mask turn that on you can see that you have this you can also draw a mask around this as well but i'm not gonna do that let me just leave it for now if you turn this back to screen so we're gonna copy this all this effect copy and we're gonna paste it here so I also added a little stroke outside let's go to the dark version which is the first one if you duplicate this control D to duplicate it you right click layer styles and say stroke you can add that stroke but the problem with this is we have a motion blur going on so you can see design moves from left to right this is all over the place so we're gonna not do it this way select the rounded rectangle tool i'm gonna select the layer i'm going to double click on this rounded rectangle tool and i am going to adjust this and simply adjust the borders like this manually you don't have to be super precise about this once you're done with the masking let's go to the effects and presets and search for stroke so generate stroke let me drag and drop it here and let me turn off the mask so that you can see what's going on so you can see here it's mask one selected and the brush size to two you can decrease it if you want i'll go with one and if you animate now so let's make this two so that we can see what's going on if you play it back now 
can see it's getting a little bit better than the previous one okay that's very nice let's copy the mask control c and we're going to duplicate this layer control d move it up and we're going to paste the mask and you can see here the mask is here and we're going to copy the stroke and paste it here if you play it back now So that is how easy and simple it is to create this kind of effect. I hope you learned something from this. Watch this next video if you want to learn more on these types of animation. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.